Hello everybody, Diane here. As you read in the title, I'm making matchboxes, which I like to do. I think it's fun. I think they're cute. I like to set them around, little decorations. So I thought maybe you'd like to help me pick out papers. I have, I don't know how many I'm gonna make. I have no big plan. I'm just gonna see what strikes me. So I picked out some of my smaller pads, scrap of paper pads. And if you're gonna follow along, you do want the heavier paper or make uh, them out of like a file folder or cardstock and then you could cover them or paint them. Now this one has some glitter stuff on it. It's not too bad. Um, I don't want to do that because when you fold it, it cracks. Oh, that's pretty good. And one of these sheets should be enough to make the... Um, I don't have one handy. It, you know, it's like a see so at the bottom and a sleeve. Um, these, however, are single sided using double sided paper is a lot smarter because the, um, the inside of your box will be white, but I'll just put a different paper in there. And that does make it a little sturdier to do that anyway. Oh, that's not bad. I'm sort of looking for a little more of a neutral because I'm going to decorate these. If you want to just use some sort of loud, you know, well, it doesn't have to be loud, but you know, busy type paper, then you don't even have to decorate it. You're done. But I grabbed these because of the scale. You know, Diane, I think you about used this pad up. Uh, that might be enough. I like that pink. <laughs> really, Diane? I'll put that in my scrap of paper box. Okay, well, what, that's four so far. How many of these boxes are you going to make? I don't know. I don't think that's enough. Those are too plain. I did grab a much bolder one. I thought that might be fun, too. Well, I don't think these are going to work. No, the, the patterns are too large. Okay, uh, this one is light, lighter weight, isn't it? Yeah, that's too lightweight. Okay, four. That's not a lot for some of us, is it? Well, I guess I will go off on my own and maybe find just, you know, regular size, the 12 by 12. I'm kind of looking over here. Maybe I'll make a couple more. Why not? Anyway, I'll assemble them all by myself. You can find templates online. Um, I found one years ago and I traced it onto cardstock and cut it out. So I just trace around it and then cut. So I'll do that and then come back and we'll do some decorating. Okay, hang on. Okay, folks, this is like three days later. I was distracted with other stuff. What can I say? You know how life gets in the way of living. Anyway, I have four. I made a few others I'm going to do off by myself. That pink paper was too short. I wanted to mention, if you are going to wrap these, you know, with paper, make sure the paper is the thin type or they probably will not slide properly. And fair warning, I, I've had a couple of those templates on, um, that, you know, I've got online. And the box just falls right out. You know, the sleeve is too wide. I don't know how they get these measurements, but make like a prototype or something before you do a bunch of stuff with good paper and everything. So at any rate, I pulled some postage stamps, as you can see. I thought it would be cool for main images, so I got that out of the way. I am doing little decorative accessory things right now. So there.
I probably will ink all these edges when they're done. That's, uh, did you see? It's a Pony Express stamp. Pretty cool for 1964. Things change, huh? We'll just let it go with that. So I do have a little bit of fabric. I have, as you can see, the paper box. I have my scrap ribbon stuff, which to be honest, there isn't a whole lot in that. But I can go get other scraps of ribbon or non-scraps. That would work too. Okay. That's not bad, but it's kind of dull. I don't know. I... Let's think about that. I don't know what to put with that. This one, I don't know where that's from. Anybody know? But I thought it looked pretty good with this box. Is mainly why I chose it. <laughs> he fit the suit. What can I say? Too bright. Well, that could be interesting. This is scrapbook paper. It's not an actual bingo card. That's kind of cool. Ah, oh, that's not bad. With just some ribbon on it. Anything in here? No, there's nothing in here. That's why it's scrappy stuff. That's okay. This isn't supposed to be in here. Neither are these threads. No, that does not match. You go in the fabric bag where you belong. quite right. What about this one? I'll try this. If this doesn't look right, I'll move it along by myself. Oh, I like that. Okay. And if you've never seen me make these before or anybody else, sometimes I have made little books and stuck in there. Just take the scrap of paper, fold it in half, either staple or do like a three hole stitch with pages in there and put them in the box. I think that's actually pretty neat. I'm not doing that with these. Even though that's pretty neat. I like that. But these are nice too for uh, gifts. You know, little tiny gifts like earrings, earrings or something like that. Or fold up a bill. Or secret notes but I just use them to sit around I like that look <laughs> um yeah maybe a flower that is kind of buried alive my flower box I've got another project going and it's sitting on top of it naturally I can kind of look Looking for something little, and I'm not seeing that. Well, okay, moving along because I don't see that. I need gold ribbon on there. I don't think there's any gold in here. It's in my Christmas box. And in this box, you didn't see this paper. It was, it's like a map. And the inside, that's a security envelope. I thought that worked out pretty cool. Is this the right way? No, this is the right way. I'm looking at the seam. I want that on the bottom. Okay. Well, that needs paper under it. To kind of brighten it up. I think. Oh, here's that same stuff. Well, that's not dumb. I don't really like it, but... 
No, not off-white. That's not going to look right. No. That's kind of tricky. So we don't want something wordy because we have wordies already. It's not too bad. I could wrap that all the way around. When is that from? Quick! 1961. She's quizzing us now. I don't know what else that needs. What else does that need? I'm standing here with my hands on my hips staring at it. I don't know. Um, I suppose a flower would be okay. You gonna try that again? Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. What about one of these? I like the the value. Should try a white one because those are harder to get at. <laughs> we'll come over here. Or get to okay pretend that's cut out very perfectly it's okay all right well I think I'm going to pause um I guess I'm going to finish these off you get the idea so I'll finish these off and you can see what they look like when they're done. Hang on. Yes, I'm back. Yes, they're done. Yes, I like the way they turned out, if I do say so myself. So these are the four we did together. I did add a little bit here and there. Rubber stamp, scrap of paper, leaves, some candle wicking thread. Uh, this one is a little tight, that's why I left it open. But I'd rather have that than have it falling apart. I put old elastic down in there. You can go all the way around the inside. Don't go around the outside, or you'll never get it in. <laughs> but, um, you know, adding little additions on the inside is kind of cute, too. This one, I did some rubber stamping, an arrow, uh, some jute there. A horse on the inside is scrap of paper. This one, I added this baker's twine. I think that's all that was different. I don't remember, did I put anything on the inside of this? Yes, a little bit of vintage trim. Pretty. And then the last one, I added some ribbon here and washi. And naturally, that snippet of sheet music didn't meet. It was too short. And I could have cut another one. But I just thought, well, I had a flower around the back. So it's kind of cute. And then I put a couple leaves in there from that same scrap of paper. Okay, and then the ones you did not see. Yeah, Diane went to her good friends, the silent movie stars. <laughs> I just thought that would be really cool. And I kind of thought maybe you all are getting tired of seeing these people. That's Mabel Norman. And um, I put their name on the inside. It's just off my printer. Rudolph, he has lace all the way around, which I thought, I don't know, for a guy, it's probably not too appropriate, but I thought it was pretty. And Buster, he has a scrapbook snippet there, and uh, the candle wicking thread. And then most of this paper was the double-sided. So I didn't have to add any on the inside. But you can too if you want it more durable. That's a 1968 illustration painting, I'm not sure what it is, of Theta Berra. Pretty cool, huh? So I gave her very mod paper. So 
some rickrack. And then Douglas Fairbanks. I think that's really plain. Yeah, it is, but I like it. I cut him out, obviously, and then added scrap of paper film snippets there. There's not room for a whole lot else. And I kind of thought, well, maybe a button or something. Well, I think it starts detracting from him. So I just like that. And it's mine, so that's all that matters. Okay. A bunch of Max boxes. Match boxes. Say it right, Diane. To sit around and look cool in your house. Or use for little gift boxes. That is actually really cool. I mean, how impressive. You, you made your own little box. It's so neat. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks very much for viewing. I hope you have a good day out there.